Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video today We are starting the call of duty news on the channel. Yes call of duty news We're gonna be trying to put out almost daily call of duty news videos in a more digestible format than just Twitter or Instagram post so hopefully you guys will enjoy the video and let's get started now obviously guys we are heading into modern warfare the next call of duty and obviously it's a spin-off of the modern warfare series but it is its own game there's not going to be much connection to the older call of duties with maybe a few characters popping into the campaign but nothing truly really confirmed just yet as we really haven't seen any gameplay of multiplayer or campaign, so basing off one trailer and some thoughts from E3 and gameplay from some critics, that's all we really have. But the big topic of the day and of kind of the week for Call of Duty is that Infinity Ward devs have officially stated no comment when it comes to rumors on a Battle Royale mode in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now for many people, a battle royale would be incredibly fun to have in a modern warfare game but looking at blackout and seeing how much blackout took from the devs how much effort and how much time do we really want another blackout or battle royale in call of duty for many people you will say no and for many people you will say yes now is it confirmed again no comment but no comment doesn't mean no and if infinity ward weren't going ahead with it you'd think they'd probably say no so that is something to look out for in the future days and weeks if blackout or battle royale in general starts to get revealed for the next call of duty which would be something pretty interesting now on top of just Call of Duty news, we will be covering the competitive scene as well, seeing as the competitive scene is a huge part of Call of Duty. Now, officially today, Optic Gaming has bought out the Los Angeles spot for Call of Duty next year. If you guys didn't know, Call of Duty is officially going to be franchised, and we're going to be having big names uh, buying spots in a league, sort of like the Overwatch League at the current moment. But... With this buyout from Optic Gaming for the LA position, it left a lot of players and members in Optic Gaming visibly confused. As you can see on screen here, Skump Abner, the absolute legend himself, in sort of disbelief with uh, a few tweets here. Same with Crimzix as well. And to clarify, Optic Gaming was bought or has bought the LA position, but it was bought by its parent company immortals who owns optic gaming so the confusion coming from this buy is i don't think that they immortals told any of the players or the members in optic that they were going through with this even hector rodriguez the quote-unquote owner of optic gaming stating that this isn't them and that is a little bit worrying to say the least especially as an optic fan you know, being in the Call of Duty scene forever in Optic Gaming, just being that that franchise, that name in Call of Duty. It's a little bit scary to see, but that is kind of the big news out of competitive just in general for the week. Outside of that, we haven't heard a whole lot about this whole franchising with Call of Duty, and we don't know a whole lot of where it's going. But that is kind of the big news of the week with Optic Gaming buying out the LA franchise spot, which means 100 Thieves aren't going to be able to take that. Now... As far as other Call of Duty news, we haven't got a whole lot over the last couple weeks since the Call of Duty Modern Warfare trailer has released and been out to the public. But hopefully in the coming days and the coming weeks, we will be getting maybe some multiplayer gameplay. And if not that, maybe a multiplayer trailer very, very soon. And over the past couple years, July has kind of been the month where these things get revealed so as that information comes out i'll be posting videos on it but again thank you guys for watching the first call of duty news video that um i've done and i plan to do a ton more of these just so uh it's a little bit easier to digest the news of the week or the day or whatever um when it comes to call of duty and again thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys all in the next one peace